Hi guys, so here's a tutorial on how to create a looping texture sheet or flipbook. So for this example, we've got this smoke video and we want to create a flipbook from this. So a good length for smoke I find is around 64 frames. It divides nicely into a grid of 8 by 8 So the current video, if we go to File, Export, Media, we'll see here under source is 29.97 frames per second which is essentially 30 frames per second so to create our 64 frames we need to be if it was two seconds long it'd be two times 30 here was 60 frames and then we need an additional four so under output we need to say 0 2 0 4 so two seconds so two times 30 is 60 plus 4 is 64 Okay, so let's do that. So let's set the out point on our timeline at the end, and then the input. So we want to guess what's well, going to be about two seconds, which is let's try there. And again, Control M is the shortcut for export, so let's do that. And then the output is currently 2 and 16, so it'd be 2 times 30 is 60 plus 16, so it's currently at 76, so we need to bring that in a bit. Control M. So we've got two seconds plus seven. So two times thirty is sixty plus seven is sixty-seven. So let's bring in three more. It's so one, two, three. So the endpoint. Control M. Okay, here we go. So we've got output two plus four. So two times thirty is sixty. Sixty-four. Okay, so we need to set the output as a series of images. So set that to TIFF, which is already done here. And then we need to tell it where to save them. So let's create a folder, call it smoke. At the moment it's not looping, so smoke no loop. And then we need, I find a good size, it's 512 by 512. We can always reduce our texture sheet later, but that's a good size for that. And then the output frames per second, we need to leave it as it is. And then we do, is hit export. And if we go into my file manager here, we'll see at the bottom is created 64 frames. Okay, so now if we go into Photoshop, and the great way of creating text sheets is by using Automate Contact Sheet 2. Now under this, I'll just reset this to the default so you can see how I have this set up. First of all, we need to tell it where those outputted frames are. So if I just browse to my folder, yeah, smoke no loop. So okay, that, and then we need it to be in pixels. Okay, so in terms of the size, we know it's 512 by 512 per texture per frame, and we know there's eight of them. So all we need to do is 512 times eight, and we get our 4,096 pixels across and down. So we need to plug that in here. And we don't want to flatten the layers. And we know it's, let's say, 8 by 8. And we don't want any captions. So we can turn that off. OK. If we hit OK, this will now create a grid of 8 by 8 textures to make our texture sheet. And you see here, another layer is being formed. And this takes quite a while, so I will pause while that creates. OK, so here's our grid of textures. 8 across, 8 down, making our texture sheet. Now, first you'll notice it's put a white grid around, around it, which we don't want. So let's select the background layer, which is currently white, and we need to make that black. So with black selected, select flood fill, and let's get rid of that first. Okay, next, let's flatten it. Layer, flatten image. And then we need to create a alpha channel for that. So select marquee, set control A to select it all, and then copy, go to channels, create a new channel, alpha channel, and then simply control V to paste it in there. Okay, so let's save that. And let's call it smoke texture 
sheet and, a, and this one is a no not looping so no loop okay and then to take a look at that let's use unity to create a simple particle effect so it's like the smoke texture we just created and adjust the max size to match the resolution that the text sheet's at and then create a material for the texture for the particle system let's simply call that smoke and then let's go and create fx particle system let's call that smoke and this is pretty simple but we just need to change the duration to lifetime to two seconds we don't need any speed because we don't need to move and we just need just the one particle and we don't want them to spawn over an area so let's put the scale down to zero and then this is a text sheet animation so let's tell it's eight across by eight down and then here we need to plug in our smoke material under the material tab and then finally under yeah the smoke material we need to change this add to a a standard unlit particle system you want to change that to fade overlay and then finally plug in our smoke texture so the quick way to do this if we under the top we can filter out the word smoke and you can quickly see it okay so under the scene view there it is now it's quite hard to see there so let's just go to the game view and select the camera and then let's choose a black background reset the transforms and then let's get a bit closer and then reselect the particle system and you can see it okay so there's our smoke looking okay but obviously it's not looping so we're seeing a, a flick a stutter every time it restarts the text sheet so let's fix that next okay so let's go back to premiere and then let's bring in the video to match our timeline and zoom in a bit okay so currently our loop point for our text sheet is at the beginning and end so when it gets to the end it loops and that's when it stutters so we want to bring that loop point to the middle and when it's in the middle we can then cross fade across that loop point to hide it so first of all we need to find the midpoint there's many ways to do this but one quick way is if you just hold down alt left click drag up your video layer right click speed duration put 200 there and that shows you the midpoint okay next again holding down alt left click let's duplicate our primary video layer and then drag it to the right and do that one more time hold down alt left click and this time to the left and we can delete this because we know we know the midpoint okay so what we've got here now is the beginning and the end will loop fine because they are actually the same frame because of the middle of the video and the loop point now is in the middle so if I hide this I can show you that if we scroll here you can see the loop point is jumping there so what we can do is we can cross fade over that to hide it so we bring in these endpoints these the video endpoints there and then under video trans transitions we want to cross dissolve so let's cross just drag that onto our video and we want to dissolve over the entire duration of the clip so drag that out okay so now if we scroll scrub through we see it's just fading out and fading in again where our jump was but all we need to do now is reshow the original video and you'll see it's actually fading down and fading up to this video below hiding the loop so all we need to do now is export that so again control m and let's a new folder for these new frames so smoke loop go inside the folder hit save hit export 
and then back to Photoshop and we can hide that one again file automate contact sheet 2 and then browse to our now looping frames which is created and hit OK and then again it's going to create our 8 by 8 grid of frames for our texture sheet so it's going to take again take a while so I will fast forward it here and be back in a moment okay so there's our new texture sheet and again let's scroll down to the background layer flood fill it black flatten it select marquee control C to copy go to the channels get new alpha channel control V to paste in there and let's save that this time texture sheet loop all right so let's go back to unity and then with the particle system selected let's plug in oh, let's just uh, first of all yeah make sure you select that 4k and then use loop and then there it is looping with no stutter okay any questions put them in the comments below and thanks for watching